Good evening, everybody. Today is going to be a little different of a vlog. We're not going to Disney. It's already like 7. I had to go to the post office and send off the buttons. And did you explain? You didn't, we haven't done anything in the vlog yet. No. Well, this lady's, we're getting ready to bring her to our neighbor's house, so we're going to say bye to her for a whole week. Look at she I said. I thought you were going to tell about the terrible thing that happened to us. Let's eat dinner and then you'll tell the story about the terrible thing. The terrible awful. These two got attacked by something. Yeah, we don't know what. She thinks she's fancy. What is this, cod? Cod. She makes, she baked some cod. She made some Lemon couscous. Lemon crispy cod. Lemon crispy cod with some couscous. And these are the, what are the, the perishables? Yeah. These are the perishables that we have left from our fridge. We did really good this trip, like yeah. planning for this trip, like grocery wise to not buy a bunch that we have to eat a whole feast. Yeah. That's a hard boiled egg, by the way, it's not raw. Sarah's gonna eat that, I don't want it. It's kind of insane. What did it eat? Our Christmas stuff is finally down. And everything is on display again. Time to play with the puppy because we're bringing her to our neighbor tonight. She's very sad. I know. We're not bringing her with this time, but she's going to be with four other doggies. There she goes. Now for the saddest part of the day. She's awfully excited. She's excited. She doesn't know what's going she on. She doesn't know what's going on. We gotta bring her to our neighbors because we have a lot still left to do tonight. And, and it's getting late. Early and we leave at like morning. 6 a.m. So yeah. we gotta drop her off where she's staying for the week and I'm super sad. I already miss her. It's too quiet in here now. <laughs> But she is going to have an oh, awesome time. There are four other dogs there. She's with four other dogs until Saturday or Sunday, and yeah, then our neighbor's parents dogs. are leaving, and then she's gonna be the even two other dogs. She was already being... Playful and friendly yeah. and... She was, yeah. She'll, long, she'll have a good time. She's gonna be good. Yeah. But I miss her already. Me too. But now it's, geez, it's 10, 10 p.m. and we have to finish packing. You gotta do some, some design, design work. work. I have to go on a run. We need to, we're going to film a little story Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'll tell thing. you real quick. I was on a walk with Eve today. Um, I noticed she stopped walking, and I, it looked like she, like, tripped. So I, like, got down to make sure that she was okay. And then I thought that she was on, like, prickly branches, and then I felt prickles. And then we were both, like, hurting really bad. Like, my hands were just, like, tingling, tingling, tingling. I knew her hand. It's, it's gone on my hands. I had bumps all over my hands on my foot, on my leg, because I like bent down to get her. So something was in the grass. Um, I called the vet. They said she could have a Benadryl, but she was honestly feeling better than I was. She, she was hurt more. Yeah, we I came still am. Like I really. We think the the most bumps. logical thing was that it was fire ants. Yeah, but, um, but we're not I, well, sure I'll if it was. I'll spare you the photos of what I sent Peter when bad. I was like. I was what like, do oh I my do? god. Do I, need to leave? Eve, I gave Eve a bath by myself. Um, gotta do but what you gotta she's alright. She's good. And, um, she's playing with some other dogs right now. But it was scary. Like she just like stopped walking and like couldn't walk anymore. It was scary part Poor of puppy all. was getting attacked <laughs> by fire ants. <laughs> like right before we were like gonna drop her off somewhere like that happens, but luckily it wasn't that big of a deal. But we gotta do stuff. We gotta do stuff. We're we'll avoiding back. it. Goodbye. Last time we did this, there was a hurricane blowing. Yeah, last time, yeah. There was a hurricane blowing, and then we slept through it. Mm -hmm. But it's late, it is one in the morning. We're getting picked up in five hours. Our oh, flight. Five and a half hours. Five hours. Every minute counts. Five hours and 19 minutes. Yep. And then Just our flight is in eight, eight hours and, 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 and 39 minutes. But we just finished packing, like Sarah just said. Mm -hmm. And instead, I mean, obviously today's been low key. We stayed home. Thank goodness we stayed home. Um, we are going to explain just a little bit of our history of vlogging and where it all began. Yeah, we've gotten a few questions over the 
especially since the daily vlog, since the Brook Art Project uh, over the past six months, but really over the past like two years about how we started, why we started, how we got so comfortable. Yeah. Um, it all, I mean, I started taking video footage when we worked seasonally in 2012. There's a funny video that I'll just link up at the top um, where it's kind of like the secret footage that we had. Um, and Dom and Peter give me a really hard time about taking video, but... Um, Dom, Dom even like puts his hand up over the camera. Yeah, like, and he's like, it. what are you going to do with this on YouTube? Um, so it's kind of funny that we obviously both have channels now. Mm -hmm. um, and then it went into our 2015 24-hour day trip. I, I mean, I just continued to push for some video. Nobody really knew or like vlogged. It was just, you know, capturing little tidbits. So that was kind of the start of it and when I edited that vlog we were like whoa like this is really cool and then Dom FaceTimed us one night and after like a three hour FaceTime we had created the Fab 5207's YouTube page mm -hmm. Gmail Twitter well to put in a little bit into context Dom was in a couple of viral um, YouTube, video YouTube videos back in, the day. back in the day they're the songs in real life if you guys go back and look at him Dom is in those um, and so he's always kind of been into comedy and improv and stuff so that's like where his you know route really was um, when Peter and I when Peter was working overnight and I was home at night like we we spent a lot of time apart and I feel like we both took to watching YouTube to kind of just like have company of other people doing what we love we don't have cable, we've got Netflix and YouTube. Yeah, so we were like, you know, I feel like a lot of it came from, why can't we do that? We should be doing that. Watched a lot of Ballinger Family, yeah. a lot of Casey Neistat. Yeah. And I mean, a, a couple of other, you know, Disney-centric. I think we, real we, soon. We, we really were watching the Ballingers and Casey, and then we came across a Disney channel, and then that's when we started thinking like, it turned from entertainment into we could do this. Yeah. Um, so we started the Fat Five Two O Seven. Um, I mean, we did like an intro video. We did a couple of sit down videos, but the bulk of the Fat Five Two O Seven then became our trip vlogs, um, which, like any other standard, um, you know, Disney Channel that people don't live here, we broke our vacation into 10, 20, 30 videos per vacation. Um, and Pretty that's much how had the of, camera out yeah, all the time and the foundation of you know of our viewers now came from that channel and that's where like we the first couple of videos that we started um, we did like sit downs there was one of me walking around downtown Chicago to show off the Disney stores and like there was a great discomfort there because it's weird to put a camera up at your face walking around in public and even like and I'm sure like we'll still get weird looks when we go back to Chicago we do in Disney sometimes still um, but after that first trip that we vlogged it got much more, we got much more comfortable in front of the camera because to to make a 10 day vacation last nine months worth of YouTube videos, you have to record a lot of content and basically always have the camera out. I remember running around Epcot, charging, hiding batteries, charging them in different outlets because we were running out of battery. Yeah. And just even the time it took to edit those vlogs because there was so much, um, you still want to put out a, a video that people are going to want to watch and engage with, but you also don't want to have like seven parts to one day. Um, you still want to engage in. So we were putting out a video every Friday, and then we had Tune In Tuesdays, so we did go to two days, where Dom started to do more um, like sit down videos. And honestly, a, a, that was one of our like, favorite videos, our viewers' favorites. Dom, you know, was, was a great, um, those and Matt appeared in a couple, Chelsea yeah, made a couple Chelsea for us awesome. for Snapchat filter Disneyland videos ones too. and Disneyland ones, those were awesome. So Tuesdays were like wild cards, like they were sit downs, they were discussions, they yeah. were anything. And then Fridays were our trip, trip vlogs. vlogs. And what was nice was that our February trip from 2017, Dom was there with Victoria and Chelsea lives here. So, you know, it, it kind of was more um, the whole 5207 gang. However, I mean, it's clear that we did the brunt of the work of the Fab Five Two Hundred Seven. I mean, from being the, the designer and the yeah. the, um, the spearhead of it all. Um, which is where, yeah. which is why, when we came, when we moved down here, we decided to branch off from the Fab Five Two Hundred Seven because that was about the five of us. It was about Sarah, me, 
Dom, Matt, Chelsea, the five of us together collaborating, collaborating to make these videos. Bulk of it did go to us, but that's okay. And we loved it. But then when we decided to come down, move down here and do daily, we're like, we doesn't seem right to start this. Basically, it's going to force it to be just us and a story about our life and what we're doing day in and day out, Disney or not Disney, um, to put that on the Fat Five. So that's why we branched off and created the Brookar Project. But now I'm happy to see that the Fat Five 207 still exists because the YouTube version of Park Hopper Podcast will get uploaded to Fat Five 207. Which, you know, wouldn't be possible without 5207 because that's where, you know, Peter and Dom, like, they're... And it still kind of makes like, sense because yeah. it's like two of the five of the Fat Five 207. Yeah. And we, I mean, we said we were going to post on there every week, but as you know, putting it out daily, three weeks. yeah, putting out daily content, it does take up a lot of time. Um, so maybe every once in a while we might think about doing, like, yeah, a we POV did a, or yeah, we you know, did a something. live stream of um, the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, the yeah. Booty You Parade. So I mean, every once in a while we might throw up another video, but obviously the Brookhart Project is the largest manifestation of our. Um, travels here and our day to day life here. So it's been um, a cool pro pro progression from like doing, like watching the daily people, then watching Disney people going, we can do that, then getting into, we can do this weekly and be artsy and cool and vlog and get comfortable with it, into how do we incorporate this kind of into our day to day life by doing sit, sit down videos in Chicago. And then when we move down here, we're like, this is it, let's, let's dive into daily. Yeah. And a lot of it had to do with moving down and the job that Peter had and me being able to work from home. Oh yeah. Because otherwise, I mean, probably ha about half my day is dedicated to editing the video, uploading, Instagram, doing Twitter. all the information, social media, setting up a lot of things to post automatically. Um, so yeah, it's nice that it's it's nice that we're able to, you know, make it work. Um, I she mean, does all the work. I just I just talk. Obviously, it's one a.m. You know, we make it happen, but it is it's a good amount of work. But luckily, we absolutely love it. We love it, and we meet wonderful people like you. Yeah, because really, a lot of my even design work in school was video production. Um, you know, I'm honestly, I just feel like I'm, I have my dream job, like editing videos of my favorite place with my favorite people um, every single day. So <laughs> it's really. It's really cool what it's turned into, and obviously the Playing Crazy Button Club and Park Hopper Podcasts are all kind of like little little branches off of yeah, what we've done. Yeah, branches that have come from it. Um, so yeah, we're excited that you know anyone takes the time to watch our videos. We know that this one isn't this one's not as exciting. Isn't exciting, but we want to show you you know how our real life is, and um, usually it's out at a park, but. We're still gonna, say. like, the Brookhart Project is the Brookhart Project, so yeah. it's not the Disney World Project, so yeah. we just happen to be in Disney, yeah. but this next week we're gonna be in Chicago, there's gonna be a new baby, we're going to get some good food. Yeah. I wanna take a run on that lake shore, even if it is 20 degrees, and I'm gonna bring the camera yeah. with. Luckily, also, my cousin is going off to serve our country, and um, they're having a big going away party, and it happens to be the weekend that we're going to be yeah, there. So, so really, really convenient. Yeah, it's going to be a wonderful trip home. And as much as we're loving to get to know all of you and engage with you in the comments, we hope that you are here, and we're going to keep on giving you videos. And hopefully, you'll come come back and continue to watch with us. Are we done? I think we're done because I do want to think I think I'm gonna go edit this because we're leaving straight in the morning and then hop on a plane and then get off the plane and we won't want to be editing yeah with being around family that we haven't seen in a few Luckily, weeks Luckily, it's a quick one. yeah it's a quick easy one so thank you for following along with us don't forget to hit that like button don't forget to hit the subscribe button also next to the subscribe button there's a little bell and if you click that you'll get notifications to your phone whenever the video goes live I wish I could design that bell to look like my face <laughs> and then my face could pop up on your phone like a push notification like, hey, the Brookhart Project Don't just mind. came up. Um, so yeah, that's an important button to click. Um, it's nice to subscribe to a lot of people, but I have, you know, a certain, you know, people have that little bell push. Alrighty, friends. Good With night. That, we'll see you in just a few hours. Yeah. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, 
It's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.